Today's read aloud is informational text. This book is called Animals Black and White. Phyllis Limbacker Tiles is the author and the illustrator. In this book, the author gives you clues in the words and the illustrations to help you solve each riddle and guess what each animal is. So let's see how many you can guess. Animals Black and White. I gallop gracefully on the grassy plains of Africa. The lion is my worst enemy. What am I? Turn to your parent or sibling and tell them what animal this might be. A zebra. I love to graze on sweet grasses. I travel with a large herd for protection from predators. My large fins and flippers make me look like a huge fish as I surge through the water, but I'm a mammal just like you. What am I? An orca. I am a large dolphin, but I'm also called a killer whale. I roam the ocean hunting with up to 50 of my friends. I live in the misty mountains, far, far to the east. I love to chew bamboo. What am I? A giant panda. I like to nap in trees in the hidden mountain forest of central China. I am very rare. So the page says that the giant panda is rare. Do you know what rare means? There are very few giant pandas left in the world, so they are very rare. I swim on the glassy surface of a lake. I dive into the deep, dark water for fish. I have a sad, lonely call. As I reread these words, picture this animal swimming on a lake. I swim on the glassy surface of a lake. I dive into the deep dark water for fish. I have a sad, lonely call. Turn and talk to your parent or sibling about what animal this might be. A loon. I'm heavy and ride low in the water. When I want to fly, I need a large lake to get a running start. See how my baby chick likes to ride on my back? I wander through the woods at night. My wide striped tail sweeps the ground. When I meet trouble, I lift my tail like a warning flag. What am I? A skunk. I'm usually quite shy, but if I need to, I can stop my enemies with a smelly stinging spray. I teach my hungry babies to look for beetles, grubs, and mice. I am a bird. I fly gracefully beneath the cold blue waters of the ocean. But when I'm on land, I waddle like a very clumsy duck. What am I? So on this page, the author says that the bird flies beneath the waters of the ocean. What is this bird doing in the water? Turn and talk to your parent or sibling of what it means that the bird is flying in the ocean. So here the author says, that the bird flies beneath the water in the ocean. It means that the bird is swimming. A penguin. I can swim for days in icy water looking for fish, shrimp, and squid. I take turns with my mate minding our young chicks in the rocky rookery. I flit and flutter from flower to flower in search of sweet nectar. 
Although my wings look like tissue paper, they are strong enough to fly, to fly miles and miles. What am I? So on this page, it says, I flit and flutter. If you notice, both, both of those words, including flower, they all begin with the fl sound. A butterfly. I am an African mocker swallowtail. I once was a fat caterpillar munching on crisp green leaves. After a long sleep in my chrysalis, I became a butterfly. So talk to your parent or sibling about how all of the animals in this book, how are they alike and how are they different? Make sure to give lots of examples for each. After you discuss with your parents, read an informational text that you have at home or that you can read aloud online and write about three new things that you learned in the text. Make sure to submit your work on Seesaw or you can email me your work. I'm looking forward to reading your responses.